every sector, not only agriculture. It, we have to deal we with We have to deal with it, uh, mitigation measures, adaptation measures. Mm -hmm. So, tutulong tayo, tumutulong tayo dito sa pag uh, di develop ulit ng mga varieties na ang mm -hmm. doon sa problema na dinudulot ng climate change. Mm -hmm. Drought, mm -hmm. no? or uh, kunting tubig lang. Mm -hmm. At mainit na panahon, <coughs> ito yung dalawa na ibibigay ng climate change at nandyan na it will become much, much more ferocious over time. Right, right. On top of, you know, uh, lack of water and hotter temperatures, of course, the opposite of lack of water is too much, too water. much flooding or yes. too much water. So, pag bumagyo, malakas ng ulan at uh, flash flooding and, and severe storms will really hit our country. Right. So, we, we are one of those hot spots, so to speak. So, which means, lahat ng pag-aaral, long term na dapat, ang mayroon kang pipeline, na projection ka na, mm. kung ano yung mga talagang problema na idudulot ng climate change, right. 10, 15, 20 years from now. So, ito yung handang-handa na uh, ang ikrisat at uh, we, we are working with uh, Bureau of Agricultural Research here and Picard para itong mga kaalaman natin na na generate namin from international research institutions like ICRISAT ay maka-adapt din at makaplano rin ang ating gobyerno para sa part na rin yung, yung pag-aaral nila. Mm -hmm. At uh, I, I think uh, we, we really have to elevate that, that attitude mm -hmm. of having a long-term plan. Yes. Much more, you know, <coughs> you, you cannot do research just for one year, two years. Mm -hmm. This is a long-term sustained effort. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we believe na ang na ginagawa natin yung capacity building ng mga scientista dito mm -hmm. at saka mga technicians ay isa rin sa mga objectives ng ICRISAT. Okay. Human mm -hmm. capital enhancement because the imagination has to take the lead. Yes, yes mm -hmm. uh, to, to really appreciate what would hit the country 10, 15, 20 years from now. Okay. So, yung continuous na pagpapadala namin ng mga na initially developed doon sa ICRISAT yun ay, that's a continuous uh, activity that we continue to pursue with our partners here. Okay. So, so uh, in, in short, uh, this is a sustained research partnership okay. with Philippine government. Listening to you, it's not just a sustained uh, effort or sustained activity, but it's also, it also employs holistic approach. Holistic approach. Lahat na mga stakeholders dito ay educate natin para one uh, well-oiled machinery to produce food. Tama po. Okay. You know, uh, I'll be ending my term in Iqusat by the end of the year. And I, I have planned my life to come back again to my country. Mm -hmm. At sisilbi, magsisilbi na ulit ako sa ating mga magsasaka mm -hmm. as a private person. Right. <coughs> At mayroon akong na, na register na sa SEC na non-government organization okay. to deal with uh, you know, elevating Philippine agriculture. Okay. Tutulong tayo sa gobyerno. At, pero uh, gagawin natin from a private sector point right. of view. Ano po yung vision <coughs> ng bagong agrikultura na gusto natin mang, ma, mangyari? We will nurture and advocate an inclusive, science-based, market-oriented and resilient Philippine agriculture. Okay, wow, couple of big words there. Opo, apat, apat na haligi yan. Okay. Ang Philippine agriculture, mm -hmm. inclusive, for okay. example. Anong ibig sabihin ng inclusive? Ang central ng agrikultura ay ang mga magsasaka. Okay. Kailangan sila ay involved. Kailangan sila ay kasama okay. sa pagplaplano, pag-implement, at pag-monitor, evaluate ang mga projects. Mm -hmm. So, ito man natin mm -hmm. yung mga programa, proyekto para sa kanila. Number two, science-based. Sabi ko na kanina, di ba, 80% of our uh, increase in productivity would be coming from the use of science and technology. Right. So, we have to massively harness yung mga varieties na available 
Jan, uh, high yielding varieties, uh, drought tolerant varieties, uh, and pest resistant varieties. So we can increase that level of production and sustain it in a big way. So science-based agriculture. Mm -hmm. Pangatlo, market-oriented. Mm -hmm. Alam mo, uh, Alain, ang liit ng kita ng ating mga magsasaka. So, pataasin natin dapat yung kita. And uh, there are many ways we, we can do that. You need to link, uh, link them to market. You need to develop those markets. You need to provide those infrastructure necessary para sa ganun. Ay, mayroon silang... Uh, you know, yes, uh, yes. Bagsakan right. centers, things like this. And you need to develop the culture <laughs> na agribusiness culture na tayo. Uh, mas lalo... Ito iba yung business na yan sa ibang okay. businesses na existing na okay. It has its own language, it has its own system, it has its own season. So dapat ito, pag dinevelop natin yun, Tama. yun ay ikinonsidera. Tama. Ngayon ay parang ang sinasabi agrikultura ay walang kita. Mm -hmm. So, ang mga anak natin ay umalis na sa agrikultura. Ay, 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 We have to really bring them back and see to it that they stay in agriculture and we, we have to take care of them. We have to take care of them. Yeah. We have to make agriculture a business proposition. Yeah. So, even it should impact into the curricular, curricular offerings of higher educational institutions, entrepreneurial science, agribusiness uh, orientation must be there to develop from, you know, this younger generation. Okay. We so have to make the agricultural field more attractive. True, yeah. true. So, yun, market, may kita, dapat business. Right. Now, pang-apat na haligi ay yung resilient agriculture. Mm -hmm. Yung sinasabi natin, climate change nandiyan na, yes. We really have to be ready. We have to bring in all these mitigation measures. Mm -hmm. in, you know, ang bansa kagaya natin na kulang, I mean, uh, hindi man tayo major contributor dito sa global warming. Mm -hmm. Pero ay, tayo yung pinatamaan. Pinatamaan <laughs> tayo. So it's a global thing. Uh, mm -hmm. We have to act locally to to contain this global problem. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to make uh, full use of adaptation measures. Kagaya yung sinasabi natin na uh, for example, water harvesting or, or reforestation, massive reforestation. Because, true enough, pag umuulan ngayon, wala nang puno na kumakapit. Puno, yeah. mm -hmm. right. So, resilient agriculture must be, mm -hmm. again, a a part of our consciousness right. as a Filipino mm -hmm. and seeing to it that we are able to cope up with this uh, increasing uh, impacts of climate change. The way that you are projecting the agriculture sector, hindi na pwede sabihin yung magsasaka lang yan. Yes. Kasi yeah. ang mangyayari yung Ako magsasaka yan. Yeah. Okay? Because uh, kasama na dito yung intelligence, yung know-how, technical, uh, scientific, pati yung pagsa-strategize sa uh, marketing na dyan na isasama na. And uh, we look forward and we wish you well in your new endeavor come the end of the year at sana magkita ulit tayo okay. para magkatulungan tayo dito. Sana po. Uh, mayroon ang, ang movement na ito, uh, uh, Elaine, ay tawag natin Inang Lupa Movement. Okay. So, we are encouraging those who, who share in this vision mm -hmm. for a inclusive science-based, market-oriented, and resilient Philippine agriculture to join us in this movement. Right. Pwede silang mag-online registration mm -hmm. uh, inanglupa.org mm -hmm. at mayroon din box na volunteers. I-click lang yon nandun na. Okay. Mamaya, pagkatapos ng programa, pupuntahan ko yung website na yan at okay. magsasign on ako because um, there are several sectors of society na medyo malambot ang puso natin because we know na sila yung medyo marginalized pero yung kanilang contribution sa ating existence as a nation and as humans napakalaki. Ang dami ko natutunan sa iyo, sir. At uh, I'm hoping that this is not the last time we shall see each other. Mm. Uh, sa susunod na endeavor mo, tawagan mo na si Ms. Jinky. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, we will be there for you para may paalam natin sa ating mga kababayan ang uh, mga kaganapan dito sa ating basa.
Ati po nakasama si Mr. William Dar, ang Director General ng International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics at siya din po ay dating uh, Agriculture Secretary ng Department of Agriculture, of course. Maraming maraming salamat. Salamat sir. Salamat, salamat sir. Okay, and mga tao, mga kaibigan, okay, alas, babalik po po kami.